Not quite. Go, is that what you said? Yeah. All right. It's 10 o'clock. We'll call the Sawyer County Administration <laughs> Committee meeting to order, please. Madam Clerk, may we have roll call? Reed Schumann? Here. Ron Buckles? Here. Dale Schleter? Here. Tom Duffy? Here. Ron Kinsley? Here. Hey, let the record indicate we have a quorum and a full board. Thank you all. Please rise and pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Certification of compliance with open meetings law, Madam Clerk. This meeting has been noticed to the public and news media as required by Section 19.84 of Wisconsin statute. Thank you. Meeting agenda has been presented. If we're all good with that, we'll move on to number six, public comment. Anybody here wishing to speak to the board? Anybody on the line, Mike? All right, thank you. Number seven, approval of our meeting minutes. Motion by Mr. Duffy, second by Mr. Kinsley to approve our meeting minutes of December 8, 2022 as presented. Is there any further discussion? If not, all those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Kudos to you, Madam Clerk. Nice job. All right, number eight, Veteran Service Department report. Gary? Yep, good morning. So yep. for December, I had 425 phone calls, 262 letters, emails, and faxes, and 82 office visits. Uh, for the end of the year, uh, we had 130 disability and pension claims and received a retroactive payment or initial payout of, of $569,329.49 for claims that were decided in the veteran's favor. Uh, my training is up to date, and that's all I get as far as okay. the report. You got your mailbox. I got my mailbox, too. Yep, thank you for bringing that up. Good. <laughs> we all know where we are. So... <laughs> That's, uh, I just want to mention, Gary, that the tribe has agreed to post for their TVSO position again, too. So maybe that'll help. I know you're seeing everyone, which I thank you for that. Okay. Any comments from the veterans with the, the building down there? They seem to be satisfied, not satisfied. Yep. I had I had one complaint uh, I think, <laughs> earlier. In the last week, you know, last week somebody hadn't been in and they went up and the building was down. So they were they were upset that they had to walk in here and ask where I was, but uh and then to find out I wasn't in the building, but but it's been, you know, we're coming up almost soon we'll be up to a year being out of there. So anyway, but they they give him good directions, he found me, but that was it. I mean it's what are you gonna do? You can't you gonna leave a, a sign up for a for, for that. Yeah. But, we'll but just, for the most part, they like it. So it's a nice, it's a nice area to sit and wait. And you know, if they have to wait, and they're the ease of access uh coming in. It's all new to them, they'll get they'll get exactly they'll get used to it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So, yeah, they're they're fine. I mean, they, you know, and they're calling and so we're getting in there. And then I heard Gary, or I guess they motion the tribe motion to move the TVSO office to the Kinnaman School building mm -hmm. right near our Veterans Memorial right there. Yeah. So if you hear anything about that, that's where they're going to be stationed okay. at Kinnaman. All right. Okay. And then are you seeing with your new offices um, as far as confidentiality and counseling? Is that no, okay, because we heard, didn't we, Dale, from Health and Human Services that it, they had issues on one side of that building? Uh, that was what they said. Gary was over here, and he didn't have any sound issues at all. Well, yeah, I, of course, I'm part of hearing, too. So, I'm the exact <laughs> <laughs> the, okay. uh, um, the The walls, to, to, the walls aren't insulated inside there's nothing in between the two sets of drywall gotcha so and that's i think that's the i think that's the biggest 
issue. You know, when they're in a conference room, like uh, veterans, we use a, the big conference room every other Thursday, and and they're they're hard of hearing as well, and they've got a big screen. And, you know, they're talking to the counselor on the big screen, and uh, and this is a group of them, and they're 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 loud. They talk loud, and uh, they can't hear, so they turn the volume off. So they've got some canceling noise. They brought in some little noise canceling, you know, like white, white noise uh, devices <clears throat> on their side of the on their side of the building, and uh, you know, it just it just is what it is. But the, the guys are there for one hour. If I have individual counseling, I use a smaller conference room, okay, to to get them out of there. But so. I, I guess that's that's my side of the story. What Health and Human Services has may be, you know, more more to them. Okay. Anything else for Gary? Committee. Keep up the good work, Gary. All right. Yeah. Thank you, Gary. Thank you enough for what you do. Amen. All right. Number nine: Information tech Technology Report. Mike. Good morning. Um, just a couple of things that have <clears throat> come up recently. The Sheriff's Department has taken a renewed interest in their web page. And so they asked if we can help beef that up. They want to do a better job of presenting information. They kind of like the look and feel of Washburn. So I said we could, I think we could come pretty close to that. But they're also going to beef up their Facebook presence. Um, and then the some reports that are put out, like the jail roster, they want to have mug shots included on there, which we other counties are doing, and we're going to start doing that too. Um, so we'll be working on that. Uh, other than that, um, we had a request for maintenance to um, uh, in to capture online all of their vehicle work orders, and so they'll be online instead of paper-based so they can look at history. Mm -hmm. So that's another project that just came up. Um, other than that, just the the usual help desk. Oh, that's the other thing. We're going to be we're going to be going with a um, a more robust help desk system so we can better track and report our activities. So they'll be coming up. Yeah, you know, with a new courthouse addition, um, your IT budget and everything is maintaining, or um, everything um, that's new for uh, the court for the courtroom is pretty much in the construction. Uh, um, accounts, so it didn't really affect us too much. There are th some things that, like phones, won't really cost that much more. So um, there really isn't anything that uh, nothing to be concerned about. Everything is within budget as far as we're concerned. Audio, video, still under budget. Got it. Okay. Anything else, guys? For Mike. Thank you for all you do. Thanks, Mike, for all your videos. Yeah. Great. All right, number 10, human resource report. Rose? Good morning. Good morning. Um, we have my report, I guess, a couple updates. We've made an offer for the driver operator position in the highway, and we've made an offer and have an accepted offer for a maintenance position. We hired two full-time dispatch, um, and I believe they're still recruiting to beef up down their part-time group again, because the two that went full-time were our part-timers. We are interviewing Tuesday for the ADRC Veterans Administrative Assistant position. And he's still trying to find more applications for Highway Commissioner, some EMS positions. We have an offer out to a limited term employee to help us out in our Child Protective Services area, but I have not received a response from her yet. Rose, how many applications you got for the highway commissioner's job? Any? Two. Two? Okay. Hmm. Good. Hmm. Questions for Rose? When you uh, do get some good applicants for the highway commissioner, how are you going to set up interviews for that? As in, who's going to interview? Do you that know? would be up to the administrator here, but I would assume it would be him and probably a member of. Um, I want to say public safety, but that's not the right committee. <laughs> How it works. 
Well, that would be Mr. Kinsey. I think he should be involved in that. Yes. I want to make sure Brad and Patrice are also because they have to work with us on that. Too. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Duffy, do you have anything regarding the HR? No. No. How, how about our uh, women in chairs? Are we still short? Yes, we're still hosing out our females. Is that a little promising? Uh, we hired a part time female. Yeah. Um, although we now have had two full time females go on maternity leave. So we're <laughs> inch forward, two inches back. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry, I don't mean that. Yeah. What, uh, Rose, what about out at highway? Do we have a finance person there that's like taking on multiple jobs or we, did we combine two jobs into one position? I know, very impressive lady out there. Teresa, is that Teresa her name? Teresa is a very impressive, yes, she is. Yeah. And are we um, compensating her, Andy? Yes, we are. Yeah, okay. we did. We, well, we, we are definitely compensating her. Okay. I heard the discussion. Um, the other thing is we didn't we combine these positions in LARP, but we, we pulled the other position in in here. So essentially in the finance office, you have Mike and then Randy. And so some of the some of the work, a uh, piece of it that brought, was brought into the finance office here. Okay. So the, kind of there. Yes. the majority of the more advanced accounting and like year end and that type of stuff will be handled here, not at home. I mean, Teresa, I know she wants to learn all of that, so that's a good thing, too. She did it this year. I'm sorry? Teresa did it this year? Teresa, Gary, no, we had the auditors come yeah. in. For, for a year end close out of 2021, we had... Um, Clifton Larson. Yeah, thank you. Clifton Larson Allen. Did the close out. Okay. Thank you. Do you have a question, Dale? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. And thank you very much, Rose. Thank you. Such a good report. County Administrator's Report. Mr. Alvarado? Yeah, a lot of this is recap for things that happened in the last few meetings here this week. But um, so you did get the email. Muni code is now up and running. It's the links on our website. And then if you need any references to our ordinances, these are all online. We have a process now to update the code as well. As far as renovation, um, talk to the finance meeting that our contingency fund now is below 200,000. We think it was 309,000. Um, I think that's still tracking well given the project turnover date. The, the project is still on March 10th of that week. Uh, there's 4.7 million of work completed that we re received pay orders for, which leaves us about 4.1 million left. So we're just about halfway, we're just over halfway with um, financially how much work has been completed. Uh, personnel, just in addition to what Rose had put on the positions, we did have our first negotiating session on December 16th, I believe. We have had, we did not come to an agreement. And, uh, actually, didn't, 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 as far as I'm concerned, fully exchange proposals. But we've heard we're, we're waiting on uh, some type of uh, communication from the union at this point on wages and then for our next meeting. And we haven't had anything yet. So that's a slow process. We do have an RFP out right now to provide the benefits consultant. We've been working in the past, who's been our they can help us broker our health insurance and consult us on benefits. We're open to them staying on, but we do have an RFP out to see what else is out there for us to help us uh, better assess our um, offerings to the employees and improve upon them. And while this day, uh, last month, uh, it was a first time effort. I think it went uh, reasonably well, right? enough that we'll make that an annual effort. Uh, annual day for part of some county employees. Uh, reviews with department heads are completed. Um, one department adjustment or staffing adjustment. This is not an increase in employees, just a different alignment, which I talked about last month. So now we're got it pretty well settled. So we have an emergency services division, which includes our ambulance and medical examiners. Uh, all but one of our current former coroners was an ambulance staff person. So we just essentially merged some job descriptions. 
Um, we appointed John Fermel as the ambulance director and medical examiner. And so then we have some ambulance personnel who are EMTs slash medical examiners. We try to iron out how that's going to work going forward. And then we put emergency management with the position in the sheriff's department, uh, emergency management, emergency manager, communication center director. And we have uh, essentially that person we were sending to the board for approval is Nicole Lipinski, uh, who runs our current security as a deputy. And uh, she'll be moving into that position with the board's approval. Um, really encouraged by the interview we had with her and already how she's uh, starting to convert. You know, we have a transition date, kind of in motion. We need to find somebody to take over the court security, but she'll do some dispatch work. And I think she'll do us do as well in the emergency manager role. Uh, Criminal Justice Council, we have a bylaw update going to the board. And a lot of our discussions are right now are focused on the opioid, opioid issues and um, have uh, public health put together a framework of how to address that and potentially utilize the opioid settlement. We saw a first view of their presentation yesterday, and then you'll see that in the February meeting. Uh, they'll come to the board and make that presentation, um, as well as the drug court and diversion program will be fully functional this quarter with the uh, state grant to, to fund it. And with that fully uh, implemented. Um, carbon credit, still 18 months away. We did have our kickoff meeting. Greg Peterson and I met with the new kind of go through the timeline and things that need to be done. And we close on the county forest land acquisition we put into last year. Uh, that's the Cooper land, that's the uh, 80 ish acres that will be added to the county forest block. And uh, also, uh, the outcome of the budget process with the Senior Resource Center. They had asked rather than in lieu of additional cash financial support, if we could offer some in kind help. So we agreed to do that and monitor how that's going to work. We could ask for help in the areas of IT and maintenance. Essentially, IT would be like just you know, they have IT problems, somebody help troubleshoot and maybe recommend purchases and upgrading IT. Similarly, with maintenance, it's we're, we're very close proximity to them. So if they have maintenance issues, to have Tim come over and take a look and make some recommendations on how to um, fix things. And then also for uh, cleaning, cleaning sidewalks off to make a pass on their sidewalks and put salt down or similar. They have a small area to mow for our mowing and we'll take care of the mowing. Okay. Seem to be reasonable accommodations in lieu of cash support. We'll do some in kind support that we're going to document that they can leverage some of their funding for. Um, just an update on the outstanding items we have with uh, the A. So the Child Support MOU is being a further discussion and I expect to be back to the Public Safety Committee next month. Um, the 161 agreement, I think we're still waiting and we've gone through it on our, our end, but we do not have that signed as far as I know. And then the ATV, UTV ordinance was discussed again last night at Public Works and um, Including to it's coming back at February meeting after the, the once there's a discussion about looking at all the ordinances and trying to write all the ordinances and the R ordinance, the township ordinances, and the LC ordinance, LC ordinance, and make an effort to get them to be a little bit more consistent so it's easier for easier for the riders to, uh, to navigate. Yeah. And then we did approve last month the county LCO uh, collaborative tribal law enforcement grant. That was approved, and that's already been approved by the state. And I think the distribution of funds is already occurring, and those funds are going to go directly to the tribe this year rather than going through the county. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. That's a wonderful recap. I got a question, though, on the Senior Resource Center. Do they have their new equipment up for their Zoom stuff? I guess I've never tried to. I don't think so, because we found out that when we tried to upgrade the computer, our, it wouldn't talk to the older computers, so we, oh, okay. we couldn't use it. So you don't have it going yet? No, okay. All right. they're still in. I, I haven't been involved. Oh. So, I mean, I actually made contact. Like a year ago, I got a question, but that was it. So yeah. But I, I told her I'd be glad to help, but I haven't received it. Okay. Request yet. I just wondered. Thank you. Um, just maybe one thing on senior resource. We talked to them, we met with them. This came up during the budget. Obviously, their meal costs, like 
most places are going through the rough. Um, and I know that, um, like when decisions are made, like in the winter area, we, we close that center down. We probably get as many phone calls through the county as they do with people unhappy. But probably going forward to control meal costs, they may have to look at other changes. We've we brought them up with them that we can help them maybe look at contracting for food preparation or having a central kitchen or these are alternatives they can look at. But you know, extended kind of to them that we can help them do that. We have some ideas. Mike has some experience with contract and food service. So when they're wanting and ready to, we'll help them do that because it's a partnership to us. We don't want them to, you know, we want to back them up as much as we can and support their decisions or help them get to a place where it's good for us and for them. So we're not ready to do that yet, but we did have that conversation. I know they have a, they put out the winter, they put out on Facebook. <clears throat> They've been eating at that center. They've been doing potluck there though. Yeah, so as I understand it, the group in winter has arranged for their own facility right now. Yeah. And so our they're doing potlucks, but also our um, senior resource meals are being delivered there. Okay, I was wondering about that. Yeah. So like, yeah. You, you here's your meal, you can eat it wherever you want. No, okay. You can eat it there, you can do that. Okay. Mr. Schleter. Yeah, the winter nutrition site has always existed and will continue, of course. Um, but as Andy says, we deliver the meals and they want to get together and join the bridge club. Let them, you know. Yeah. Because I know when I go and I read there, I read their stuff every every month or every week when they put it out. And it doesn't say anything about getting their meal there from the senior resource center, which I'm sure I, I never doubted that they are not, you know, from being when I sat on the board with you guys. Uh, okay. Uh, I want to thank you too, Mr. Alvarado, for getting the invoices paid to the county by sending Justice Point and UW Extension to the tribe. They came and did a nice job. Yep. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Anything else for Andy? Questions, concerns, comments? No. Andy does a nice job of putting yeah, stuff together. Okay. Recapping it perfectly. Uh, future agenda items. Is there anything we're missing? Should we be discussing? No. Yeah, just share one thing. Just give you a heads up. Um, there's a public comment the, the last session. So. Now, I've, I've talked to a couple of board members who have talked about the nursery land, the DNR land. You know, that's going to be a slow moving discussion as to what the future is for that property. But there has been some discussion about housing developments in the county. So, I, with, with the Sawyer County LCO.com Development Corporation, I did provide a letter of support to them for the county for a project they're pursuing with Northwood Technical College. Northwood is going to cite three training facilities with housing developments within their region. Right now there are four finalists, Ladysmith, Hayward, Minong, and Early. This would be like a uh, classroom training facility that they could use along with around 30 housing units. And I think they're planning to put 3 million in each one. So there might be a proposal coming back to the, from the development corporation to the county to assist in uh, landing that project for them. Or like maybe you know, just as an example, if the city and county could provide a piece of land for that to happen on, that might be enough to seal the deal to bring in here, even one of the developments here. So um, potentially next month we'll have something to consider for that. That'll be interesting. Are yeah. Those funds? yeah uh, they were actually federal funds <laughs> that came to the state. It's the workforce innovation grants. So I think I think LCO got the innovation grant in the first round. Yeah. Northwood got one in the second round. Hmm. Yeah. Thank you, Andy. Is Charlie still the chair or president of the city? Or I know he is. Yeah. Yeah. I think somebody a conversation he is, but he's not running. Yes. 
I mean, <laughs> no, it's dark. Okay. Tom, that'll be your position next. Yep. There you go. All right. First comments, report, <laughs> conference of the meeting. But we have a legislative update coming up. Andy, yeah, is that... there's the, I'm not sure, I'm sure if you guys get all these emails from the state, from Wisconsin counties, but the Wisconsin County Association Legislative Conference is first week in March. So that's later than other years, right? It is. It's pushed back about a month because they wanted to schedule it so it's after the budget's out and has some time to see them. Got it. Okay, and should um, board supervisors, if they wish to go to that, contact Lynn? Okay. I'll get the information on that and she can send an email up to the board. That'll be north of Highway 64 this year. <laughs> right, that's a good point, Ron. I've never seen it. Okay. Um, anything else? If not, thank you all for joining us and we are adjourned.